Hello my dear students, welcome to Baiju's exam prep. Hope you guys are fine. So in today's session, I am going to tell you why maximum velocity does not occur at the surface in case of open channel flow. So before that, let me tell you, you can go through my profile. And if you want, let me know you that there is daily dose both for civil and mechanical engineering student. Now as we proceed, when you talk about open channel flow, okay, when you talk about open channel flow, what do you mean by open channel flow? It means the flow which is taking place under the action of gravity and it has a free surface with it. Free surface means there are two fluids, okay, there are two fluids in contact with each other and, and what is happening? The other fluid is applying pressure at constant atmosphere. Like example, in our case, if this is a water, Water is a fluid and air is also a fluid. So, it has a free surface. This free surface means there are two fluid and at the interface of the fluid, one fluid is exerting pressure onto the other fluid. Okay. Now comes the question that actually, technically speaking, the maximum velocity should occur at the free surface. Okay. Whenever you see the velocity distribution diagram, it is something like this. It is something like this and you call this as Vs as the surface velocity. You never call it as the maximum velocity. You call it as the surface velocity. So the question comes, why do you call it as the surface velocity? The reason is, technically we assume the flow to be one direction, but actually the flow takes place in infinite directions. So we have basically told that it takes place in three directions, longitudinal direction, lateral direction and normal directions. But, but actually the flow in longitudinal direction, the magnitude of flow in the longitudinal direction is much more as compared to the magnitude of flow in the normal direction or the magnitude of flow in the lateral direction. But what happens when our bends are there, curves are there, cuts are there, what do you see that the water splashes out. So what happens, you are able to see you are able to see the waters, the waters direction of flow in the normal direction as well. So now when there were curves, cuts, boundaries are there, you are able to see the flow of water in the normal direction as well. You say that this normal direction of flow, you call it as secondary flow or you can also call it as secondary current. Due to the secondary currents, you are not able to see maximum velocity occurring at the surface. However, it occurs at a certain section downstream of it. And the how much downstream it occurs, you call it as dip. This delta is the dip. Okay. And this is, so if in short, if somebody says, why does not it occurs at the surface, the maximum velocity, you will say it is due to the presence of secondary currents. So due to the presence of secondary currents, you are not able to see maximum velocity occurring at the surface. Got it? Because whenever cuts and bends are there, you will see that although water is traveling in the longitudinal direction, but in those places, you will see the water flow at the normal direction as well. So, longitudinal due to the presence of secondary currents. Got it? And you know that for calculating average velocity, we have two point method like we calculate velocity at point 0.2y, point 0.8y and we divide it. So, all these are there. But here I just wanted to tell you why maximum velocity does not occur at the surface. Technically, due to the presence of secondary currents. Secondary currents when you get, when you have significant flow in that normal direction as well. Okay, so I hope this concept was quick and you understood it. And for more such videos, subscribe to Baiju's example. Thank you, everyone.